Yeah, alright. The daily vlog's gonna change, so you're gonna see this little message every time for maybe the first ten, and then I'll change it up again. There's a little intro. Um, I found this book, Bumper Pup, a quiz book. It's got 5,000 or so questions in there. I thought it's a good way to get smarter, then I might have more things to say in a daily vlog. Because I think I've run out of it, to be honest. Run out of things to think about. I'll still, you know, I'll try and have a little bit of a, what I've been up to and that at the start. But then I'm going to, we're going to get right into this then. 16 questions a day. I'm going to answer them. You can answer them. Then we'll, I'll go through and see how we did. And then, um, yeah, see where this goes. See how long I can keep up with this for. Should be easier than trying to think up random bits every day by myself. And this gives us somewhere to feed from, you know. Or to lead from. What oh, works, you one. Uh... Right, let's get in. Before we get on with quiz two, uh, what I made yesterday, little little ceramic figures, so you've got your weighed figures and your other little animals. So you've got like a rat wearing mouse face, like a racist rat. Um, a little goose where its beak had snapped off, the ceramic beak, so I've replaced that with a real chick beak. Bits like that, just rather than chucking them away, a couple of, couple of quid, bang them on your oddity shelf, you've got something there that's original. Other people aren't going to have, it's got real skin on it. And it's also something that's been made by someone else, rather than just, you know, something made by me. It's, uh, I, thought, I just thought it was nice, better than throwing them away and that, while I was waiting for skins to dry and that, so I thought, you know, I'd just have a mess. Don't really know if I've got any mad thoughts, like I say, you know, it, it, nothing nothing really comes to mind. So uh, let's, let's get on with a quiz. Uh, I'm going to find the, an oh, the answer page is already folded, so we're good, just so you can see I'm not cheating. What does RCM stand for? Uh, remote controlled motor. What is a crambo? Is it an exotic dance, a fruit drink, or a word game? I think it's a word game. I think it's one of them word games where you've got to go around the room and be like A for R, for R B for B, but and everyone's got to remember it like a shopping list. So by the time you get to F, you've got to be like A's for R, for R B's for B, for C's for G, to D's for dog, E's for elephant, F's for fox, G's for fucking, I don't know, some of a giant octopus, giant squid. Hey, I don't even remember what letter I suggested. Was it K? That was ridiculous going that far. But yeah, I think it's one of them games or word game. What is Norwich City FC's home ground? Um, you know, uh, the Potters. Whose 1999 hit was boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Four booms. Is that that one that goes, I want to hear you say way up? Way up. Nah, that's only got three booms in that one. Could it be the witch doctors? We'll go with the witch doctors. What is shrub type of plant, like a bush? Who owned Bagpuss? Um, yeah, a man that lived on a boat. Whose first novel was High Fidelity? Uh, Emily Bronte. What relation was Napoleon the Third to Napoleon the First? Great great grandson. How many non permanent members are on the UN Security Council? 50. What famous Russian writer died at a railway station? A lot of questions about the Russians, isn't there? That was something that supposedly, that, the sideline, but something that supposedly the Russians said again during the Cold War, carrying on from yesterday a little, that they wouldn't try to attack us with force or out like that. They'd try and get into our education system and change the way the younger people think so it's more inclined to go towards the Russian mentality. So maybe that's what's going on with this book. Which famous Russian writer died at a railway station? I don't know any. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep guessing Chotsky for any Russian name. I have no idea who Chotsky is. I don't know if he was a if he was a dictator, if he was a writer, an actor, uh, a poet. Fuck knows. I haven't got a clue. But Chotsky could have been a dance. Could have been. It could be a type of dance. Fuck knows. What is the name of David Cameron's wife? 
Leon. Leon, no. I don't know. Leon, how many quavers in a crotchet? Two. What type of creature is a cuttlefish? Mollusk. What were the surnames of Bonnie and Clyde? Oh. Bonnie and Clyde's surnames. Who cares, innit? Like, fucking, who needs to know? No, no one is saying Bonnie and Clyde. What do you mean? Do you mean Bonnie Nettles from the, the, the cult? No, Bonnie and Clyde. Me. Um, I know they weren't married, so let's say Hasker and Price. Fuck knows. Which fraternal pop trio publicly forswore sex before marriage? That's in that um, South Park, innit, where it's got Mickey going <laughs> like that all the time. And they're all reaching for the penises of the, of the guys. You've got all the little girls reaching for them. But they're saying it's okay because they're wearing the purity rings. Is that the Jonas Brothers? It might be the Jonas Brothers. I think they were Disney. Um, what is a female swan called? A pen. I know that one. Right then, and let's see the answers then. So, RCM stands for the Royal College of Music. Crambo is a word game. Norwich City FC's home ground is on Carrow Road. Boom, 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 boom was the Wenger boys. Never, never would have got it up. Um, what is shrub? Shrub is a fruit and herb cordial. I'm going to say it's not. I think I was still right there. I don't think that question is very fair. Can't say what is this. I suppose what is a shrub though would be better grammar. Fuck knows. Um, who owned Bagpuss? Emily. Whose first novel was High Fidelity? That was Nick Hornby's. Uh, Napoleon III to Napoleon I were his nephew. There's 10 non-permanent members in the UN Security Council. The Russian writer who died was a bloke called Leo Tolstoy. David Cameron's wife was Samantha, not not Leanne. I knew it was just, I was going to say, it sounds daft to say I knew it was a woman's name, but I did. Uh, how many quavers in a crotchet? Two. I got that one right. So, so far I've gotten one. I've gotten two, two right so far. What type of creature is a cuttlefish? That's a mollusk. We got that one right. Bonnie and Clyde was Parker and Barrow. 15 was the Jonas Brothers. And 16 was Penn. So we did a lot better this time. And that's purely from... Um, I know Cobb and Penn from listening to Ricky and Carl and Steve podcasts pretty much daily. And there's one where they're talking about like putting a putting a knob on a robin. And they're saying, oh, the only, the only uh, bird with a cock is, uh, is actually a, a hob. It's not called a cock at all. So I knew that one. The Jonas Brothers question. I knew that because of South Park. Um, I'm surprised I didn't know the Bonnie and Clyde one. Uh, I wouldn't have even got there. I don't even remember what I suggested it was. Um, yeah, the word game made sense to me. But the rest fucking never would have known me. Never, never couldn't have even, obviously couldn't guess them. Because I didn't guess them. So there we go. I'm getting better at it. Uh, noticeably noticeable improvement from yesterday. Let's start keeping scores. Let's keep the scores so we can see how well we do over time. So yesterday I think I got one right, didn't I? I think I think it was just a one or two, maybe two. And today we got did we get four? We got that one right. I think we got a. Uh, oh no, we got that one right and that one right. And that one right and that one right. We got five. Five right. That's not bad. That five out of 16. That's less than half, but you know, it's not too bad. Alright, so let us know what you thought of that. How many did you get right in that? Let us know in the comments. This will be the same every time, this little clip at the end. That's why I'm wearing a red hat, just to make my editing easier. Thought I'd give you a little peek behind the curtain. Um, 
So yeah, if you want to buy some taxidermy and that, go to www.worldaroundyou.com. I might put a link below, but I think YouTube sort of blackball you if you do that. So I probably won't. Um, and that's it. I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed some others.